The ballet of songbirds and snakes does not exist for me. It's been a hundred years since the ballet of songbirds and snakes was released. And as with everything in life, I am late to the party. Anyhow, y'all lied to me. When my favorite booktubers and you, my friends, praise that this book is fantastic and that I must pick this up, y'all lie to me. I am sure it was unintentional, but I feel cheated anyways this book turned out to be beyond my expectations in the worst possible way. Last year when the movie came out for the ballet of songbirds and snakes, everyone was raving about it and I have to say my interest was also piqued. The Hunger Games is one of my all-time favorite YA dystopian series ever. Love the writing, love the characters, love the pacing, love the world building, loved every damn thing about that particular series. But when the ballet of songbirds and snakes was released a couple of years ago i was not very keen on picking it it was written in the perspective of president snow and honestly i don't really care much about him the book that is written in his perspective i was kind of sure that i would not enjoy it and i should have listened to my intuition i should have kept my willpower strong but then the hype got to me last year and i picked this book and i regret reading it this is more of a ranty review if you are an ardent fan of this book then it is better that you step out of this video right now it is not going to be a pretty tale my dear friend so without much ado let's get started with why i just did not like this book in fact i dnf this book at about this point i tried really really hard for months to finish this novel but it was just such a drag on page number 334 i was just about done with this book at the beginning i was sure that I would get something out of it since so many rave reviews have been given to this book so i started tabbing different perspective different things that i would make a beautiful lovely oh i love this book sort of a review but no my friends my dreams were shattered in a really bad way to start off, reading the book from the perspective of President Snow, or just Snow, or Corolianus, whatever the way his name is pronounced, was a pain in my arse. I couldn't stand being in his head. We all knew that he was an egotistical megalomaniac and this book did nothing to justify the way his thinking went about, the decisions that he made, the choices that he did, the crimes that he committed, nothing nothing i did not enjoy reading from his perspective at all and that was one of my major problems with this book how can you finish a novel where the main perspective is what you cannot stand he is one of my least favorite characters ever and this book did nothing to pique my interest or change that opinion about him yes i know that this book did not aim to glorify or justify the actions of snow with just being in his head was so problematic in itself i i did not like the experience at all <laughs> The other main character, Lucy Gray. Where do I start with her? There was nothing compelling about her character and I could not stop myself from comparing her to our Mockingjay. She was just about everything in Hunger Games. I loved reading things from her perspective and at least I expected a little bit of more agency from Lucy Gray. Maybe she had re agency, maybe in the later chapters or the last few chapters something came up but as far as I read and I've read 300 plus pages of this god awful novel i could not find a single compelling thing about her she just felt rather bland although she is a main character although she moves the plot line although she is one of the main reasons for snow being snow and yet she is one of the more triggering points of snow starting to become or starting to realize that he is actually a devil i could not enjoy reading about her either just as i did not enjoy reading about snow but my dislike of her character is a lot less compared to mr so now 
The other characters added no spice to the story either. There's this doctor girl who is this brutal scientist who experiments on poor animals and I should have been scared with the things that she was doing but she just seemed like somebody who was there to just for the impact of things. Oh I do brutal things and yeah this is Hunger Games and yeah you should be scared of the things that we at the capital do and things like that. I was not scared. And nothing was compelling about her. I did not feel dread seeing her on the page. I am sorry, but not sorry. And other side characters, there was this Sejanus, somebody who was sort of friends with Snow, if Snow is capable of having friend at all. Perhaps Snow's cousin, Tigris? Tigra? I can't remember. Her character was slightly better than many in the story and yet nothing was enough for me to glue myself to the story or to root for any character or feel the feels for any character. Coming to the action part, the actual Hunger Games tournament, which is this ruthless, brutal game where the contestants from different districts are there to cut each other's throat so that they can just survive where they live in brutal conditions on the minimal food and other essential supplies that should have been exciting or in the least that should have made me feel something but it just did not it was another bland part of the entire story it was hard for me not to draw parallels between the original hunger game series and this prequel to the series there is certain expectations when you have read something as splendid something as action-packed and brutal and shake the earth sort of storyline that the Hunger Game was but I could not just feel anything at all. Tournament was just some side thing that was going on just so we could see Snow's personality. A means to an end, not exactly a major plot line in my opinion. <laughs> The pacing, which was too slow for me, did not work in the favor of story either. Again, drawing the parallel, the original Hunger Games, I devoured the series. Not only the books, but also the movies. The pacing was so gripping, so tight. But here I felt the chapter after chapter, things were dragging. And why this book did not need to be as long as it is. It is 500 plus pages. And despite me having read almost 350 pages, I just could not find anything that completely compel me to read further. I had to push myself, I had to drag myself to hop from one chapter to the other and once I put down the book I had no eagerness to pick it up which is not what I expect from an acclaimed author and a fantastic series like the Hunger Games series. <laughs> The writing in itself was great because Suzanne Collins is a talented author. However, just your writing is not enough to pull the story if the storytelling is not gripping or exciting enough. It was definitely one of the slowest dystopian prequel series that I've ever read. And Everything that I loved about the original series, namely Katniss and her love for her sister and the dynamics between her and Peter and other characters, all of that was missing in the stories, obviously because they did not exist. Back when Snow was in college, when he was studying, this storyline did not add anything new to what we already know through the original Hunger Games series. There weren't any new characters that I wanted to know more about especially President Snow is a character I did not like in the original series he's a villain fine he moved the story fine but I did not need to know his backstory I did not need to be in his head period it was such a dull take and it just probably ruined the Hunger Games series for me the ballet of songbirds and snakes does not exist for me peace out if you love this novel, I'm happy for you. Your money was well spent, but mine was not. And since I've annotated this book, and I've not just put these tabs in it, 
so many tabs wasted by the way but i have also underlined lines that i thought is going to make some sense in the future so i can't even unhold this book maybe i'll just keep this book as a keepsake those are just my blatant thoughts on this novel i hope you found this video at least entertaining and if you love this series and chose to watch this video till this point let me know why you love it you can check out my other book reviews in a dedicated playlist that i have linked in the description below and there will be a video that you should watch after this one that will be right after this video and so yeah watch that watch other videos and i will see you all in my next one very soon take care bye bye